The Smiler. One of the most controversial roller coasters in modern times, either loathed or loved by enthusiasts, and holds the world record for the number of inversions on a roller coaster. This documentary is designed to give you more of an insight on this iconic coaster. We've compiled information from different sources and added a tiny bit of personal opinion to bring you hopefully one of the most informative videos that you will find for The Smiler. So, we start right back at the beginning in December of 2011. Alton Towers, where The Smiler is now located, submitted planning permission to build what was then known as SW7 or Secret Weapon 7. The Smiler will be referred to as SW7 for a minute or two as that is what it would have been known at the time the event took place. A secret weapon is a code name given to a major Alton Towers ride before it officially has a name, and the park launched a website advertising this scheduled edition. Planning permission for SW7 was accepted in March of 2012, however it did have opposition from two local councils. SW7 was to replace the Black Hole. The Black Hole was a Schwarzkopf Jetstar 2 and was housed in a large tent. The coaster closed in 2005, however the tent kept standing until April of 2012, when deconstruction of it was started, to give SW7 a place to be built. The park hired German company Gerslauer to build the coaster. They already had a good working relationship with Merlin, the owners and operators of Alton Towers, after manufacturing Saw the Ride at Thorpe Park a few years earlier. Gerslauer was most known for their Eurofighter coasters, which had trademark features including a vertical lift hill, which can now be found on the Smiler today. However, the Smiler was Gerslauer's first attempt at their Infinity Coaster model, which now has nine installations worldwide. The designers include Ben Dowson and Candy Holland, and the ride consultant was John Wardley, who was the mastermind behind Nemesis and Oblivion. Track started arriving in October of 2012, and SW7's name was revealed on the 21st of January 2013 as the Smiler. A month later, the park revealed some elements of the coaster. The Smiler was scheduled to be open on the 16th of March 2013, which was when the start of the season for the park began. However, construction ran behind schedule, and the ride was not finished until April, and the new opening date of the 23rd of May was announced. On the 17th of May 2013, the Smiler opened for a press event, which celebrities and journalists were invited to. The train stopped on the first lift hill, trapping riders until they were evacuated an hour later. This incident contributed to the delay of opening once again, as the day before the Smiler was due to be opened, the park announced it would not open the next day due to, quote, teething problems. The ride would eventually open to the public on the 31st of May 2013. The ride experience offers 14 inversions, more than any other coaster in the world, as these riders have travelled 52 miles per hour with a maximum height of 72 feet. The maximum forces pulled on the ride are 4.5G. The Smiler also offers a truly unique theme. It is themed around a laugh factory controlled by an organisation known as the Ministry of Joy. There is a structure in the middle known as the Marmalizer, which uses different methods of making the riders smile. The ride also features lots of optical illusions, one of which is seen on the ride logo. The first few months of the Smiler being open were plagued with mechanical and structural issues, which sometimes resulted on the ride being closed for days. On the 10th of June 2013, a train on a test run with weighted dummies stalled in the Batwing, which was due to trim brakes being activated due to a computer malfunction. On the 21st of July, 48 people were evacuated after debris fell from the ride, causing a gap between two sections of track. On the 30th of July, the ride was closed for a week after cracks were found in the base of one of the supports. And on the 2nd of November, four people were injured when guide wheels detached from the chain on the vertical lift and hit the passengers. After seeing that list of incidents, it's clear to see that the Smiler had a tough opening year. However, it all looked to be going fine as 2014 didn't offer any serious incidents. I've already covered this next topic in full detail, to which there is a link on screen now, so I won't be going through everything. However, on the 2nd of June 2015, the Smiler suffered its worst day of operation. A train full with 16 riders collided with an empty test train which had stalled on the track at 20 miles per hour, seriously injuring four people and causing two people to have limbs amputated. The Smiler was immediately closed and an investigation ensued. It was found that an operator had mistakenly released a train from the lift hill after it was stopped, after the computer system had correctly identified the stalled train. Over the following months, visitor numbers to the park plummeted, resulting in many job losses and several rides closing that season. 
It was speculated that the Smiler was going to be permanently closed or stay open with a name change and re-theme. However, it was announced on the 24th of November 2015 that the ride would reopen for the start of the following season. The Smiley reopened on the 19th of March 2016 under the same name and the same theme, with some minimal changes. One of the most notable was the removal of any reference to being corrected, which was one of the ride's most well-known sayings. This is possibly due to the fact that it could have bad connotations when thinking about the accident. A few months later, on the 27th of September 2016, the crash was deemed the park's fault, and the operator of Alton Towers, Merlin Entertainments, were fined somewhere in the region of £5 million by the health and safety executive. So, that's in the past, what about the present? As of 2018, the Smiler is still operating, and is still the world record holder of the highest number of inversions on a roller coaster. It has not suffered any major incidents since 2015, and is relatively reliable. The crash has ensured that the safety standards have improved across the park, and that something of that nature is extremely unlikely to ever happen again. Alton Towers have since recovered from their loss of visitor numbers, opening a new coaster for the 2018 season, which has drawn in the crowds, and has restored the park to its former glory. Hi, I'm Jack from Theme Park UK, and thank you for watching this documentary. This has taken hours of my time to research, edit, and write. Um, and probably most I've spent editing a video uh, in my relatively short YouTube career. Um, but yeah, I'd like to say a special thank you to all of you for watching and to all the content creators who have let me use their work in this project. Uh, it couldn't have been possible without you. Uh, so yeah, thank you for giving me permission to use those guys. Um, I think it came out really well and I enjoyed it. Um, if this video does well, I will make more documentaries. I have, I do have a few ideas. Uh, and I have had ideas on the Discord from you guys as well. Uh, so yeah, you can look forward to more documentaries in the near future. Uh, I'd love to see your feedback in the comments to see if I did a good or a bad job. If I did do a bad job, please let me know. Because I want to know what I can do to fix it. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed guys and I hope you learned something. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.